If you're playing your MAME games with the default settings, then you are not seeing the games as good as they can look. MAME is great, but if there's one thing you want to change absolutely straight away, it's the default brightness and the contrast, because it is literally all wrong. Let's take a look at this game here, as it says one example. Magician Lord, take a look at the background, the, the cave kind of thing. Let's take a look at it there. It's all black and indistinct. Can't really make out any detail whatsoever. Let's run that again, but this time I'm going to make an adjustment to the brightness. Let's bring up the menu. You bring up the menu there by pressing the tab or the caps lock, something like that. Whichever is relevant to your system. And you're going to scroll down or go down on the arrows till you get to brightness. And everything is set to 1.000. Now we'll wait for that scene to come up again. Now I'm going to increase the brightness. Now you have a look at what happens in the background. It's a monumental change. We get so much more detail come in. Let's wait till the op's over. There you go. All right, let's so increase that. Look at all that. Look at the amount of detail now that's come into the background. And this applies to all games on main, pretty much. It's like the amount of detail and color you're missing out on because of this wrong setting. And it's all to do with the way uh, older CRT monitors were set up. An older CRT monitor, which is how these games were designed in the first place to work on old style CRT TVs as well, they always had a cathode ray, ray tube. And this is basically like always gives off a small amount of light, which means you could never ever get a true black. And what happens now is with this setting on a modern TV where you can get a true black, it makes it all wrong. So you want to increase the brightness up to about 1.12 or just reduce it down again. Look, show the difference. It's absolutely huge. What you're looking for is just a small amount of blue hue in, in the background. And that's pretty much all you want. But because you've raised the brightness, you need now to decrease the brightness, the, the contrast rather slightly, because if you increase the brightness, you overblow some of the whites. If you look at that moon thing there, whatever it is underneath where it says Magician Lord, you can clearly see a lot of detail. When it comes back to that, I'm going to increase this now. Wait till he goes into the cave again so we can increase that background detail. There we go. There's so much better. But when we go back to that part with the moon, you'll see that basically it's all indistinct because we've increased the brightness, which has overblown some of the whites. So we need to now reduce the contrast slightly to get the balance back and bring in that white detail. Let's wait for it to come around. There we go. Right, it's, it's overblown there. Under where it says Magician Lord. Yeah, bring it down to around about eight, eight and a half, and you'll get a perfect balance. You've now got a nice balance of white. Nothing's overblown. You get all that extra white detail and you get all that shadow detail and all those extra colors coming in in the background. And this applies to every single game. Now, this is just on a per game basis at the moment. So you would have to do this every single time you load up a game. But once that game is done, you don't have to do it anymore. If I exit out of this by pressing escape, that is stored. Don't have to change it. When we play Magician Lord again, that will be set as that. I'm going to look into how you can do it on a grand scale across all MAME games, for example, by maybe looking in the MAME.ini file. I don't know if you can do it on that and then just adjust everything across the board in MAME. That'd be a really nice way to go about it. But I say you just change an individual game and make it look so much better. It is absolutely, absolutely crazy. It makes a huge difference. And this, I've done this just time and time and time again on all my games that I play. It only takes like, once you get used to it, you can do it in like 10 seconds. And it's a massive, massive difference. Some people may think it's a pain doing every game, but for 10 seconds, if you're going to play a game and come back to it, it's absolutely worth it. Looks so much better. It makes a massive difference. So there's a video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe buttons more. Mame hints and tips and things like that along the way. Thanks for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.